Hi there. Welcome back to Kauban Design and Comfort with your host Emma Wangare, a Kauban design expert at Performita. In this lesson, we will be discussing the basic needs of cows as well as cow behavior in unsuitable spaces and how this information can help you keep your cows comfortable year round. Well, I have a question for you. Where do you think cows are most comfortable staying? In an enclosure or out in the grasslands? You guessed right, the grasslands. It's unfortunate most people don't own large tracts of land. So how can you get your zero grazing system to feel like the grasslands for your cow? Don't worry, I will be unraveling these nuggets of wisdom throughout this course. First things first. Let's learn about a cow's basic needs, which are clean feed, clean water, fresh air, light, space, and rest. Clean feed and water is important for good health of your cow. Therefore, they should be free of contaminants or foreign bodies, such as stones, etc. Free flowing and fresh air is important because it cools your cows, irates and dries the barn, which leaves the floor dry, thus providing good grip as your cows move around. Sufficient light enables your cow to navigate around her environment safely, as well as provide day and night rhythm that aids stable fertility cycles, lactation cycles, etc. Adequate space should be provided to accommodate movement around the barn and exhibition of natural behavior, such as social interaction, exhibition of heat by mounting, exercise, and many others. Planning a functional space for you and your cow will be discussed at length in lesson two of this series. Lastly, we will discuss rest. A comfortable resting space with adequate bedding is important because cows require 14 to 16 hours of rest throughout the day. We want her to focus her energy in milk production, not supporting her weight as she stands all day. Stay tuned for details on how to design the perfect cubicles in lesson three. Well, with that, this brings us to the second segment of our lesson, reading the behavior our cow displays so that you can understand what's missing. For instance, consider the picture on your screen. This picture shows a barn with cows who won't rest in the cubicles. They'd rather stand. Why? The easiest explanation is that the bedding is not comfortable, so she'd rather stand for as long as possible. The solution? Provide soft bedding, such as sand, sawdust, rice husks, or straw whichever is easiest to find in your area. The minimum amount of bedding required is six inches thick and above. The next picture shows a cow with structure-related injuries that indicates that the neck rail at the feed fence is too low. How do we fix it? All you need to do is, is find the average height of your cows and use that figure to adjust the neck rail height. The following picture shows another cow with injuries on her hock. This indicates that the bedding at the cubicle is too hard. The solution is to replace the bedding provided with softer options that I mentioned earlier. In conclusion, we have learned about the six basic needs of cows and considered three examples of cow behavior and signs that indicate that something may be wrong as well as how to fix it. Thank you for watching. It was wonderful to have you here. I have been your host, Emma Wangari.